Bring in another money man. He's an economic advisor to President Obama, or he was. He's the former chair and CEO of UBS Americas. He is a Clinton surrogate. Robert Wolf is with us again. Robert, thank um, you. Yeah, well, let me just say I'm glad when I went to Wharton that he wasn't my economics <laughs> professor because I think I would have challenged him on everything he just said. Okay, look, I know you've got a good, you've got a pedigree in this business. You're a money guy. You're a banker. You know what you're talking about. But how do you answer this? The middle class is shrinking. It is. Buying and spending power for the middle class is down from where it was before President Obama took office. We've got a $19.5 trillion debt. Forget the deficit, debt, 19.5 trillion. We've only had 2% growth in each of the last seven years. You can't say that that is the strongest economy in the world. You can't say we want more of this, can you? Well, one, we are the strongest economy in the world. I mean, that's a fact. And everyone wants to be in our economy. That's why we're number one in the world in foreign direct investment. And that's why we're number one in the world in people wanting to invest in the U.S. dollar and in the U.S. market. So, factually speaking, what was said last night is accurate. Auto sales went up. The Whoa. recovery has been 75 straight months. It's over 15 million jobs. No one's saying it's great. But to say that the facts said last night were wrong is just inaccurate. Which was wrong? What fact was wrong last night it's when the they talked about the where world, we are? Start. It's not the strongest economy in the world. Britain has, a, much better, Britain has a better growth rate. Oh, come on. Come on. It does. Br Britain, Br the chances of Britain going into a recession versus the chance of the U.S. going into recession you see the, no, is no, no, no. exponentially Britain greater. Britain has a stronger growth rate than the United States. Yeah, I, I would challenge that post-Brexit. Britain has a stronger growth rate than the United States. Okay. Okay? I mean... All right. I mean, well, come, on. You say it, uh, come on. I mean, okay. you want I'm a not fact gonna check? I'll fact check all day long. Come on. No, uh, okay. Okay. All right. Nineteen and a half trillion dollars worth of Too much of debt. debt. Okay. And not Too mentioned... Too much debt. I'm, I'm not there with mentioned, you. Not mentioned... The president tried to obfuscate by saying he got the deficit down. The deficit he is the annual the down. debt. Yes, and it's still higher than in any other year by any other president in history, and you know that. Well, first of all, and you know, being a business guy, most people, when you think about debt, should look at debt to GDP, because if GDP was a hundred trillion and debt was fifty tr fifty trillion, you actually wouldn't be that concerned that debt to GDP was at fifty percent. You'd probably be best in the world. So you have it to look at also that, debt. With Social Security and Medicare and no, Medicaid. No, it's and about 67%. No, you're wrong. No, you're totally wrong. We're pushing toward 100% with you factor in entitlement. Not net, net debt Absolutely. to GDP is yes, about you, yes, 67%. Yes, you are. If you look at S&P, Moody's, and what Fitch is saying, when you factor in entitlements, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, all in, we're pushing toward that. On the your 19 you and and don't half trillion that. number. Okay. Okay. All all right. Right. You know, Robert, I'm, look, I'm just using your number. That's all. 19 and a half trillion. All all I'm trying to do is say, look, where are we going? I agree with you, by the way, you know? Stuart. You and I are in agreement there is too much debt. No one's okay. challenging that. I'm not at all. And the best way to make sure we do better is to get growth up, and it's the middle class. So we're in agreement on that. We're only in agreement on that the facts said last night were inaccurate. That's all. Okay. Robert, we're in disagreement about how we get 4% growth, which we need. But no, Robert, uh, we haven't. I'm with you. How we get there, I think it's... I think the most shift we have to do is infrastructure, yeah, that, no, and I've been no, touting no, that. No, no, no. you've okay. got to cut taxes. Come on, man, you've got to cut corporate I don't agree. taxes, I, and you've got to cut I individual taxes. You've got to get Listen, private for, enterprise going. This is not, America is not all about government, government Stuart, enterprise, I'm, I'm, it's private first enterprise. First of all, two things. One, I'm 100% supportive of business tax reform, and as you know, the president wants manufacturing for business tax reform to be at 25 percent and for all taxes be at 28 percent. That's going down, by the way. That's not going up. Okay. And secondly, when, on infrastructure, I'm talking public-private partnerships, not government. Okay. Big difference. You I'm know, happy to have kind that of in the anytime weeds, you want. We disagree, but look, Robert, you're a good, you're a good man, and we accept that. It, and we you're do. a good we man, do. too. <laughs> I don't know about that. Robert Wolf, everyone, it is a pleasure having Thank you on you. the show, and you'll come again. Thank Thanks, you for sir. having me on. Look yes, forward sir. to it.